Hey everyone, welcome to Figure Fantasy with five days left in the month and we're expecting I think one or two more figures. It's safe to say that we're ending April and uh, we're going to be beginning with May. Okay guys, so um, just a, a friendly reminder for those of you who want to review the tier lists um, from January 2022 up to the current one, you may check the link out in the description of this video. So going to the first tier is the beginner tier. So these, again, for those who are new to the tier list, these are figures that you only use usually when you're starting out you won't really use them once you're in the mid game and in also the advanced stages or the end game for figure fantasy moving on to the next two you have um, for your mid game you have re vasili yuna sanada and the rest are super figure rarities that uh, you may use in the mid game so no change from april still the same figures um definitely they don't they haven't received any rework um as of today so they're sticking with the mid game tier next is going to be your two specialized they are um figures that have potential and have use but they're too specialized in what they do so you have camille here Yamazaki, definitely, Astaroth, Norris, Akechi, and Suzumi to round um, this whole lot of figures. So the same, no change. The changes will come in the next tier, which is your good figures. So for your good figures, definitely, uh, you will have Zhao Yun. Uh, Zhao Yun's... Um, I think he needs a, a little bit more damage and a rework in his damage. He's he's a reliable figure, but he tends to lack in the damage part. He can't sustain if he can't he can sustain damage um because of his shield, but definitely cannot dish a lot of damage. Although he has a bit of a pierce piercing through um and the enemy at the back of the one that you are hitting, the right in front but definitely he needs a rework um, just for the damage bit so yoko um again good figure um you can actually rely on on her but mostly for not on big waves but mostly for five on five battles okay zao you again one of um one of one of the few healers that we have so He's a good figure to have as well. Very reliable, especially if you have him leveled up. Next is uh, beside her, beside him is going to be Aoi. So Aoi, I've seen a bit more action in my teams, especially for summon teams, especially if you have her at 5-star and 5-star Peach and uh, probably 1 Diamond up to, you know, up to 5 is going to be better for her. She is um, She shines really with the higher levels of her kit. Next is going to be Sani for the good figure. So for Sani, um, she needs also a lot of love in terms of building her up to around five star as well. Um, need her, need to have a good equipment for her, but definitely one of our good figures that we should have. Next is going to be Yuina Mizuki. So Yuina. Again, really hard to build because she's one of the two most difficult factions to or brands to get um, copies of. But definitely, if you build her, she's going to be a good one-on-one -on -one figure. Um, especially if um, your matchups are less like five versus five or PvP, then she is going to be very good, definitely. Next is going to be Alfred. So all reliable Alfred. Um, Again, uh, he excels in some of the stages. Very good survivability. Um, he has he has life steal, so more or less he's going to be good. Um, he does need really to be built up, probably five star peach again, up to diamond tiers. Okay, next is going to be Osuke. Osuke also needs uh, to be leveled up. 
again uh five star peach up for him to really take advantage of his additional damage because again i don't think he has a lot of damage or his, his attack is not really that much so he has to be leveled up um but his freeze or frozen ability is really really good in holding out mobs and the last one she was downgraded previously from april she was one of the above average figures now she's with the good figures really again needs to be leveled up at five star peach because her damage is not enough although he, she's built that way for aoe but again she has to be leveled up but but uh, definitely one of our good figures to have especially for mid game going up to the end game she just needs um, that uh, diamond tier uh, for her to really, really shine. Okay, moving on to the next tier that we have the above average figures. So we have Vazerwin, Mako, Irene's Embers, and Xantha Kane. So your above average is only four. Again, as I mentioned, Vivian was from this tier previously, but these four will really really hold hold the fort for you mid game up to end game very you know old reliables that we have so um, um vazerwin for her aoe the tremendous damage mako for her quick healing irens is also for heals but for a single target and xanta kane i think one one of the best specialists that we have in terms of uh damage dealing for a single character or single figure especially for bosses so moving up our tier is going to be nearly at the top so we'll start first with uh, crusos definitely crusos is one of the best defenders that we have uh, specializing in stun and uh, in knocking down enemies build is really good for uh, you know good for good for mobs and waves and build is should be built more on accuracy so that um, the knockdown can be triggered as often as possible rin as well um single target damage dealer for vanguard lifesteal very very you know very good in utility basically rin and rimuru are a contrast of each other i'll explain it later okay so ciao ciao here um one best poisoner in the game for me um poison team very very good damage as well next is going to be lubu um great synergy with his ultimate with his team definitely one of of our best damage leaders or dps range that we have right now next is going to be harriet so harriet um nearly nearly at the top very good for summon teams and bosses bosses are really her specialty and she takes them down very well especially with her minions and with the blind in her kit this one um i akeno is actually one that dropped from our top tier so she's now nearly at the top i was using her previously and i noticed that um, although her debuffs are excellent and uh, i don't know if you agree with me she we, we you know we get her for your for her debuffs definitely but for the rarity of the brand that she has i expect that she also should have good damage as well her damage is not that good um it's not that great for a militarist so definitely i'm pushing her down um to nearly at the top tier but definitely not at the top um at this point okay um i'd rather I think use her I'd I think I'd rather use Sakura because of the support that she has her support and um, and her debuffs her buffs and her debuffs are actually good including the her heal so Ayakino very sad to say I don't think that she has enough damage I might be wrong I might have a wrong build for her but definitely for now if you agree with me please put them in the comment section below we'll discuss it on I if she's one of the top or is she or does she really belong here in the nearly at the top okay and the last one is going to be Rimuru so 
most of you or some of you might disagree with me that he is here. Um, some of you might think that he is a top tier vanguard, but in contrast, Rin is actually Rin and Rimuru are opposites. Rin is her specialization is more on on single target, more on bosses. So Rimuru his specialty is on mobs, and again that limits his use. You won't get much of him if. He, what do you call this? If he is uh, faced with a single target, I don't think you'll get, you know, your your money's worth out of him. Um, plus, my problem with him is still survivability. He is really a glass cannon. In terms of supporting himself of lifesteal, I think Rin's kit is much better in survivability versus Rimuru's lifesteal. So, at this point, I'm leaving also up to you i'm leaving it up to you guys to put comments on rimuru is he you know deserving of the nearly at the top spot or does he deserve to be one of the best figures that we have so i just want to hear your comments your suggestions this is just an open discussion um and also these are just my opinion so um just be friendly with your comments okay so next is going to be our top spot so best figures in the game, um, starting with Megan, of course, um, hardest to kill defender in the game. I think still one of the best defenders, um, kind of toe to toe with Ayane Okada. So Megan is just tough. That is her MO. Next is going to be Zarola. Zarola, best DPS for military still. But uh, again, a lot of militarists are catching up with her, especially with that Tsunimiko in the field. Next is going to be Zephyr. So Zephyr, again, best healer, best charger of energy. What can I say about her? So, and Zhu, uh, Zuki Liang. Um, again, I can't, I can't be more, I can't be happier that he supports a lot of my teams in lots of content. Again, if you really want to invest in. Um, the two hardest brands um, invest in Zuki Liang, guys. He will really help you clear some of the stages in the game. Next is Erixia. Again, Erixia, uh, if, uh, if, even if in the lower tiers, in the lower um, lower star tiers of Peach, she's good. But once you bring her up to the diamond tier, she is really, really excellent. So... Again, that is why she is here because of shared health. Hatsune Miku, of course, one of our top militarists, and um, you cannot go wrong with her at this point. Uh, Hatsune Miku and Zorola are, are, are actually, you know, um, toe to toe in terms of my usage in, for DPS at this point. Ayane again, toe to toe with Megan. Um, she is really. Uh, her utility is with the debuff that she gives and also the shield that she gives and also her survivability. So very, very good. Um, can be as hard as a tank uh, if well built and especially in your diamond tiers. Next is going to be Sakura. Um, if I wanted a debuffer at this point, I'd still get Sakura. Um, easier to get copies of... Um, silence very consistent in debuffs and she's more of support um if only ayakino had tremendous damage i'd go with i over sakura but at this point uh sakura for me is way more all around than ayakino so that is why she is here in one of the best figures and last in our list is going to be milim milim is here especially for her ultimate which you can spam her ultimate number one number two you can really um do tremendous damage for your ultimate um she although she is maximized more with mobs but again the damage that she does is really really you know painful and very consistent in terms of facing mobs or bosses so that is why she is here um Definitely, she, if she, if you build her the right way, she will clear clear enemies 
in a matter of minutes or seconds even. So that is why she's here. So I don't know if you agree with me with Milim, with Milim being one of the best figures. Do you want me to swap her with Rimuru or do both of them need to be at the best figures category? So again, share your comments. These are just my opinions based on previous gameplay for the both of them. So I have the both of them at five five diamonds already. So definitely I've had a lot of play testing with them so far. So those are my inputs on the recent tier list for incoming of May. So again, guys, reminder, comments in the comment section. Hope that could hear from you if you agree with me or not on the rankings of all the figures that we have so far for global. So if you're still here, please do consider subscribing because this helps my channel out, guys. And thank you very much. Stay safe. Take care. This is The Warden, and I'm out of here.